Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez uh, was doing live stream the other day. And um, look at this from Vice News. This is interesting. On Monday, Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez clarified on Instagram that she does not hold any digital assets or tokens, including Bitcoin, and said she doesn't believe policymakers should be able to hold financial products like stocks. In June 2018, rules passed by the House Ethics Committee required members of Congress to disclose ownership of crypt crypto asset holdings worth at least $1,000 in their annual disclosures. It should not come as a surprise, then, that the Democratic Socialist doesn't believe policymakers should be able to hold financial assets in order to remain impartial. Quote, because we have access to sensitive information and upcoming policy, I do not believe members of Congress should hold or trade individual stock, and I choose not to hold any so I can remain impartial about policymaking. Ocasio-Cortez wrote on Instagram, answering a question about if she held any crypto. I also extend that to digital asset assets and currencies, especially because I sit on the Financial Services Committee. So the answer is no, because I want to do my job as ethically and impartially as I can, she added. Um, so... That is, what she's saying there is the most obvious thing in the world. The most obvious thing in the world. And unfortunately, there are not many people who share that sentiment in Congress because they want to get pa -pa 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 paid, son. So let me give you a few examples as to just how correct she is in saying this. In March 2020, uh, Dianne Feinstein, Kelly Leffler, Richard Burr, and Jim Inhofe they were accused of using non-public information about the coronavirus pandemic to dump stocks ahead of the anticipated panic sell-off, which came to pass. So in other words, all these powerful senators got news and word in a briefing, look, this COVID thing is worse than you think. It's worse than you think. It's a pandemic. It's going to be a global pandemic. It's going to shock the market. It's probably going to be a huge downturn. So... I'm just telling you, do with that information whatever you will. And then all these guys, these criminals, turned around, dumped stock so that they didn't lose money. And they did it because of insider information. That should be illegal. But more importantly, they shouldn't be allowed to hold stock in the first place because there are massive conflicts of interest. I'll give you another example. Tom Price, who was a Republican congressperson, I believe, of Georgia... He was picked for Trump to be head of, like, Health and Human Services or something like that. He was... He invested in a medical device company before pushing a bill that would have given a massive subsidy to that same medical device company, therefore making him much wealthier. Total conflict of interest, total self-dealing, total corruption, and he got away with it. He got away with it. Um, Unusual Whales, which features... Um, financial tools that track large stock uh, and unusual options flow movements. They published a brief history last year looking at semiconductor bills that were proposed but never passed in Congress. Many of the bills only had co-sponsors that stood to benefit financially from the legislation. Self-dealing, conflict of interest, corruption. Nancy Pelosi, her husband just made $5.3 million investing in big tech based on information from Pelosi and Congress about how this uh, anti-monopoly legislation was toothless. This antitrust bill was toothless. So he took that information, made $5.3 with it, because he knew the stocks would spike when the business world got the word that this antitrust bill was toothless. This sort of stuff happens all the time. All the time. The business world, the corporate world... The stock world and politicians are like this. And that's one of the biggest problems we have in this country. It goes, it's right up there with money in politics and campaign finance and how they take all their money from corporations and billionaires and then represent them. Here, they make decisions. They're always going to prop up the stock market. They're always going to prop up the businesses because they have personal stake in them. So not only is AOC right, this should be codified into law immediately. You shouldn't be able to own stock. Look, I'll go a step further. And maybe some of you will disagree with this. I don't know. I have no problem paying them even more money, but not allowing them to own stock. I'll raise the congressional salary to whatever, 300 grand. But you have to be a public servant. And also, no revolving door. You can't go be a lobbyist afterwards. We'll make it worth your while to be a public servant, but you have to be a public servant. Not a corporate cuck. So she's 100% right. I don't care what the investments are. Shouldn't be allowed. 
president shouldn't be allowed to own businesses. You know, I mean, it's crazy. Trump was, he pretended like, oh, I put all my money in a blind trust. Bullshit. He was still making money hand over fist, if that's the saying. I don't know if that's the saying. He took $300,000 from Saudi Arabia through his DC hotel as president and gave him a multi billion dollar weapons deal. That should be allowed? Fucking Jimmy Carter had to sell his peanut farm out of fear that it could be used for some sort of corrupt dealing with a foreign government. We gotta clean up the system, man. AOC's right. Now look, we beat up on her all the time when she's wrong, and she's wrong a decent amount, and I'll continue to do that when she's wrong. But here she's right, and we need legislation on this immediately.